Okay, in this clip we're going to be running through how to use the toolbar and the different symbols which are represented here and how they are used in WinQs. So the first symbol we're going to be running through is this page at the top. As I said before, this is the symbol which represents the creating of a new item. So to create a new item within your your bill, you would click on this item. This then takes you to a new screen where you can enter all the information which you need about that description or item. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the unit column and you click on the three arrows next to the unit. This brings you to a new window. In this window you'll see there's a variety of different units which you can choose from. You'll also see there are four different heading types. This is used in your bill to create different headings and each one has a specific format. They might be different sizes, they might be different fonts, they might be bold, underlined, italics. I will show you later how to edit these characteristics for each particular heading. But for now we're going to choose the meter squared. Once that's been completed, as you can see you then have the option to change any of the formats you want. You can change the font or the size, but we're going to leave it standard for now. In this section here we're going to select in this section here we have the option to add our description. So I'm going to go and add one for risk of collapse. Okay. Once I've entered that in, you'll see on the right hand side you can there's a space where you can enter your price as well as any wording you might want to have in your amount column instead of a price. This is quite useful if you're wanting to put in a rate only amount for a contractor to enter in and you don't want them, you won't have a quantity associated with that. You also have the option to select how many decimals you want to display. Then there's the short description option which is at the bottom. This is used to create a sort of neater approach when you're looking at that screen which we were on before. Um, so instead of seeing your full description you can have abbreviated versions of it. Please note when you're printing out your bill this is the description which will be displayed and not your short. So I'm just going to go risk of collapse or a C as my short description. Okay, This clear short is if you were not wanting to display the short on your home screen, you can click on that, but for now we're going to leave that. So once I've entered all my information and I want to continue, I click on the green tick, which will say the changes are made. It then gives you the option to keep or to carry on. You keep on going and adding new items. But I'm gonna wanna, I want to go back to my main screen, so I click cancel, which is an X. And as you can see, I'm back in my trade. As you can see, there's the item I created, and as you can see, it, it's just the short is displayed and not the full version, which creates a bit of a neater, ver um, a neater approach to your bill if that's what you're wanting to do. Okay, so the next item on our toolbar is the uh, edit item. This is also used quite a lot within WinCures, and um, it's quite useful. So. To edit an item, you would select it and then click on the edit, it, edit current item. This then takes you to the window which we saw before when we are adding a, a new item. And now I can do a variety of things. I can either change a unit by clicking on the, on the three arrow dots. And here I can either choose to change a different heading or I can choose to give it a unit. I'm going to change it to U H3. Okay, as you can see the formatting has changed. I can then also alter the description by deleting a section and I can also alter my short if I want to. Okay, to so save the changes I made I'll click on 
the green tick if I don't want to save them I can also select the X which is quite good so I'm going to save the changes I made as you can see if I'm back at my home screen and the changes I made to my short are being displayed um, but your description if I double click on it if I go in there as you can see my description has also, has also changed okay the next item on the toolbar is the hide item now within WinQS it does not delete items straight away it uses a function called hide um, and this will until you've deleted all your hidden items will still remain on the system and can be recovered if you're wanting to wanting to get it back so I'm wanting to delete this item so I select it and then I select the hide current item okay this will just ask me whether or not I want to proceed I'll say yes as you can see it's gone okay to get it back I click on tools and I go down to unhide all items okay now this will unhide any item which I have hidden in within my build so you need to ensure that you don't you be careful what you unhide okay so I'm going to click on hide it's going to ask, give me an option whether or not I want to unhide all of them from the project, the whole document, or just this current bill. So I'm only going to do the current bill. And as you can see there, my heading has come back. So if you do make a mistake, it's quite a useful thing to recover it. Okay. The next one is just binoculars. This is a search function within WinQS. And it's quite a useful thing when you are looking to find an obj uh, object or, or description within WinQS or the different sections. As you can see each description has a unique ISC code and these codes are used to within the search function. So as I can see my risk of collapse item which I made earlier has a code of 743. Okay, So if I select my search function as you can see I can choose to just search the current bill, the whole document there's a number of different options I can search either for using the IC which is the simplest page reference is another option short description, detailed description, unit type but I'm going to keep it as IC so we're going to enter the code 743 if I select the tick it'll then take me straight to that item just a quick way of of looking up an item okay the next thing which I will be showing you is the move item this is quite useful if you're wanting to cut a description from one bill to another uh, so to cut one you select the cut symbol that's, it's then asking me where, from where in my project do I want to cut an item. So I'm going to go to my masonry. Okay, I'm going to select this item. I want to take that item from the masonry bill and put it in my earthworks bill. So either you can double click or click on a tick. And ask me whether I'm not wanting to do that. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and as you can see, there is the item which I moved. I can then carry on and move other items if I want. To get out, I will click the exit from this form, which is the symbol, and I'm back here. So it's quite a useful um, tool if you're wanting to to copy or move items from other books. Okay, the next symbol in the list is the copy. I like the move this one allows you to copy items either within the bull you're currently busy with or another trade within your project or from another project completely which is quite useful while still retaining that item unlike the cut which moves it so to copy an item I select copy I then 
have to select the item I want to copy. So I'm going to make two of risk collapse. So I'm going to select risk collapse and select the tick. It will then ask me whether I want to put it after risk of collapse, which is currently my bull. I'm going to say yes. And then I can either choose to copy more items or I can exit once again by clicking on the symbol. And as you can see, now I have two risk of collapses. Okay, the next symbol which you need to to know about is your mo moving items up and down. This is quite useful if you're wanting to rearrange your bill or rearrange items within the bill. So ensure that the, the item you want to move around is selected and then by clicking on the down arrow or the up arrow I can move it around wherever I want to. Okay. The next symbol is quite useful if you're wanting to insert quantities all at once um, as you can see from the quantity column so to insert a quantity I select add insert quantity it then asks me what location I want to put it into. Now locations are the different sections or the different areas these can be first, second, first or I mean first ground first and second or they can be different buildings it all depends on your project as you can see in this building there's different buildings in this project there's different buildings and each building has a different loca sub location for the different floors so I'm going to choose to put this into foundations again you can create new locations by clicking on the new you can edit, edit the current location and you can delete locations so I'm going to go and put it within my measurement within my foundations now the reason why it's important to use locations is I will be explaining it a bit later within the clip okay so now what I can do is I can start entering my quantities um, so you would enter your quantity and then you can put a reference. This might be a grid line or an area where you're wanting to you wanting to add a reference so you can locate the quantity. So I'd enter it in grid line A B and then to continue I push enter. And that's gonna take me to my next item. And I can carry on pricing my dot uh, enter quantities into my document and and keep going. If I want to stop and go exit out of adding quantities, all I do is select the X. Okay. The next item which I want to show you is uh, adding prices to your bill. Now this is very similar to the quantities uh, thing which I showed you just now. So if I select on it it opens a window and as you can see here there's the price for that current item which I'm going to be entering so all you have to do is enter whatever price it is and select enter and as you can see it takes me to my next item and further down the bill and I can keep going and entering prices as you go on it will start totaling up your project as well as your bill. To get out of the screen I select the either save which will take me to the ne next one or the X which will stop me pricing. To exit the window I select the symbol. And as you can see now two of our items have quantities and prices. Okay, this one here is quite useful for backing up. Backing up in WinCurse is similar to saving, um, and it's quite important to do this now and again. So, to back up, you select it. Okay, when you set up your WinCurse, it you would have already selected a, a section where your backups go to. So, all I need to really do is select OK, and my backup has been saved. 
Okay, this symbol is used to print your document. I'll show you a bit more about that later. And here, this item is used to switch between the different modules which within WinQS. This is your BOQ, and the next one would be your BOE. By selecting it, it takes me to the next screen. And the BOE, which is mainly used for estimating. Once again, I'll show you the difference between the different sections later on. Measurement groups is the other section of of WinQS. And once again, I will show you how to use the three together to ensure your project runs successfully. Okay, your refresh. This just keeps if, if something freezes or doesn't work, you're welcome to refresh it. And exit from this form will exit you from the project if you're wanting to get out. Okay, this last thing which I'm going to be showing you in this little clip is your trade navigator. To get to get inside, you click on the three dots, and this will bring up a screen with all the different trades which you have within your project. To to get into a specific trade, once again you can either double click on it or you can select the double tick and this will take you to the next trade. For quick navigation there's also up and down arrows which will move you between the different trades. Okay, I'm going to go back in here. You can once again create a new a new bill. You can edit a current bill or you can delete bills. Okay. You can also move bills up and down as well as copy existing bills.